Welcome to another Design Spark unboxing video. My name is Camila Lehmet, and today I have this huge box to unbox. If you heard about analog discovery test measurement solutions from Digiland, like their analog discovery 2 kits or their analog discovery Pro 3000 series, then you'll be really happy to hear about this latest addition to the family, the ADP5250 high resolution mixed signal oscilloscope which offers higher sample rate and bandwidth and it comes in more rugged design compared to the, its predecessors and with continuous support from the waveform software this device offers multiple virtual instruments such as oscilloscope, logic analyzer, spectrum analyzer just to name a few so this all-in-one test solution will be a great addition to your workbench. Without further ado, let's open this box and see what's inside. So this outer box has the ADP5250 in a protected foam. So I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, there's some leaflet with instructions which shows some initial steps that you can do when you're setting up and also some description of the um, different components of the device and also you have the box with different accessories that you might need when you're working with uh, the oscilloscope so i'm just gonna put this box down Let's take the foam out as well. Great. Now um, we've got the device out. I'm just gonna put it aside for now. Um, and I want to see what comes in the accessories box. So I have this couple of probes with me because I've um, when I was reading through the product page, I realized that uh, the ADP5250 device actually doesn't come with probes, so I just ordered them separately. These are PNC probes from Digiland, just trying to get them <laughs> straightened. Um, so yeah, they're like a regular BNC connectors and um, that you can connect, and also I've got the mini grabber ones as well just um, in case I'll need them later so I'm just gonna put them aside but those don't come with the device let's see what actually does come uh, so I have everything in this bag so again I'm gonna put the box aside so what, let's see What's in here? There's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, let's start with the basic one. So you have the power supply. Um, I can't tell which country it's from, but it's not for UK. I think it might be US. But then you also have apologies for the crinkling noise of the bags. Actually, uh, yeah. You let me open this one. You have an um, adapter, so if you live in the UK, you can use it. And then there's um, the US power supply cable as well. So let's put that aside. And we also have, um, so actually, let me get scissors and I'm gonna cut through this pack because, yeah, I, I don't see any other way I can open it. I actually have my scissors here on my workbench, so. That's very handy. So I'm gonna cut this. And so this is the yeah, so this is USB A to B um, cable, which we are gonna use to connect the, this device to our host PC. Um, if if you are not familiar with uh, analog discovery oscilloscopes, they are USB based so you would need to connect them to host PC and download software to be able to 
access all the different types of uh, instruments. So I'm going to put this aside, we'll use that later. Uh, oh, there's another adapter, I assume this is for um, European, um, European plugs. Um, we also have um, cable, MTC, MTC cables that we can connect to the, um, the logic analyzer bit. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, this is 2 by 18 um, cable. And you also have various adapters. I'm not gonna go into the specifics, so I'm just gonna put in on the screen because just by looking at it, I can't tell, to be honest. But I'll put the specific uh, types on the screen. So now let's go through the different components on the device as well as uh, their specifications. Uh, the first section that you'll probably see is the mixed signal oscilloscope area which has some digital inputs and some analog inputs as well. So the digital inputs are uh, 32 channel um, digital pins and the input voltage range is between 0 and 5 volts. The sampling rate is 1 giga sample per second and the typical record length is 1 mega sample. These digital pins are used in conjunction with the logic analyzer in the waveform software. Next to it, you'll find two single-ended analog inputs that have bandwidth of 100 megahertz and a resolution of 8 bit and sampling rate of 1 gigahertz per sample and um, re typical record length is also 1 mega sample. The both inputs can be used with AC and DC coupling and um, the input voltage range is from 0 to 40 uh, volts peak to peak. The two input uh, channels here can be used within the waveform software for instruments such as oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, network analyzer and uh, some more. Next to the mixed signal oscilloscope section there's a uh, arbitrary waveform generator which uh, has 14-bit resolution and update rate of 125 mega samples per second and uh, the type of um, waveforms that you can generate with this uh, AWG is sine wave, tooth wave, noise and also some user-defined waveforms that can be set up in the software. And finishing off the top row, there's an external trigger source. Moving on to the bottom row, you have eight channel digital I.O. pins in, in this corner that can be used in conjunction with the static I.O. instrument within the waveform software environment to emulate some of the uh, common input-output devices such as buttons, LEDs, sliders and etc. Next to it you have power supply which um, can be used for providing 6 volts or plus minus 25 volts. And lastly we're finishing off this row um, with digital multimeter which can be uh, which has a resolution of 5.5 digits and it can be used to measure AC and DC voltage and current as well as some um, resistant values. Now let's do some test measurements. So I have the ADP5250 connected to the power supply and I've used the USB cable provided with the device to connect to my laptop where I already have the waveform software installed but I'll make sure to leave a link to the area on Digiland's website, website where you can get the software and install it. Um, yes, in terms of hardware here I'm doing a very simple uh, setup. So what I did is I used a BNC um, cable to 
con I connected it to uh, channel 1 of the oscilloscope and I tied it in, so it's sort of like um, a loop circuit I tied it in to a um, waveform generator and I used BNC to a micro grabber cable and I um, connected the two grounds and two signals together so the idea is we're sending signal from AWG and we're measuring it from the oscilloscope so let's start by opening the waveform software and when you do that you will see all the different instruments that are available through this software on the left so you have oscilloscope, waveform generator, power supply, multimeter, data logger, logic analyzer, static I.O. instrument and then you also have spectrum network and impedance analyzers and you can also upload your custom scripts so for this uh, test let's open the waveform generator and open the scope so right now they're both off so we're not getting any signal let's turn the waveform generator so we're just doing a simple sine wave with a frequency of 1 kilohertz and if I go to scope and turn it on voila you have your um, first measurement done with this device and what we're getting is a sinusoidal signal on the channel one and with all of that I'll probably end the video here this is an incredible device that I am really looking forward to be using in my own workbench. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!